Oh, welcome back everybody here on Freeboot. I honestly uh, missed making videos. I really have to work on my consistency. Holy shit. Well, I'm really happy that I'm done with some shit I had to deal with lately. But then I think about the next four weeks of finals and I'm just like... Well, anyways, today I want to talk a little bit about Reddit. And I initially wanted to make this uh, an opinion video, but it would have turned out more of a rant against Reddit as a whole. Which is totally not what I want to do. I mean, Reddit is a nice site, right? It's up to personal preference. I don't necessarily, it's not my favorite social networking site really, if it even is one. But it's really not a bad site and I have no reason to start shit against it. So now I'm making a web shit video about this. So web shit focuses more on the people itself than on the whole thing. And of course there's always some black sheep or some bad groups of people. And I just found that there's a few kinds of people on Reddit that I completely fucking despise. I cannot stand them. And if you should be one of those kinds of people I'm mentioning in this video, think about what you're doing. It's, it's not good. It's not right. So you probably know Reddit, but if you didn't know yet, you live under a rock. It's pretty much just a platform where you can share and upload and download links and then they get popular in front page and even more popular. Well, that's that, but let's come to the first kind of Reddit users I completely fucking despise. <laughs> The Reddit police are mostly these kinds of people that are not mods, not moderators in any subreddit, so they're not actually doing anything. They're probably even too lazy to just start a subreddit or apply for a mod. No, what they do is they comment on other people's posts and say why they are wrong and not do not belong there or why the people that posted them are asshole. Who the fuck even are you? Fucking Reddit police! It's not your fucking job to determine what's right and what is wrong. If you want to help, you can apply for being a mod or you can even report shit on Reddit. Yeah, it has a report feature, so it actually goes to the mods which then can decide for you. That tiny little lazy bone, if it's, if it's right, if it can stay or not, it's not your fucking job to tell that to people. Obviously, you can always express your opinion and submit constructive criticism, but please, please think about what you're posting before you do, if it helps anybody or if it's just stupid bullshit. Alright, I don't really have a name for these kinds of people on Reddit, but they are the ones that spread completely fake and made up shit, or probably it's real, but it's not proven and then claim it's a fact, which thousands of people result in believing it. For example, this subreddit, slash r slash 9gag. 9gag is also a site where you can post pictures and they get uploaded and downloaded and then they get to front page. And the maker of this subreddit itself claims on a pinned self post that most of the content is being downloaded and uploaded again to 9gag. Which is probably true because everything's coming from Reddit. But then he goes on to say that it's the admins that do this and the admins are removing all the watermarks and have become professional at it. And and so the admins are like these crazy people and delete every comment that says that it's stolen from Reddit or somewhere, which is in fact completely bullshit because 9 is still a user-based site. People still upload their shit and they probably take it from Reddit just like, why would you even freeboot, right? It's, it's what people do to gain some popularity or attention, I don't fucking know. I don't get freebooting, honestly. But it's not 9gag to blame, it's the users to blame. And also the Reddit police point kind of plays into this too, because if the actual creators of these images would have something serious against 9gag re-uploading your shit, they would have claimed and copyrighted that shit or sued 9gag or something. But they've done none of that, so they're making and uploading their shit for free, and others download it and share it on their side for and they don't get anything for it. Freebooting sucks, but that's not really a reason to hate a whole platform and all the users off it. And people just go on and believe this post and upvote their shit because I don't know, they just believe it. it. There's no facts. It just says um they're doing that because they are doing that and they're bad people. There's no fucking proof that the admins actually upload that shit to gain profit from anything. Nanga has so many users, I, I, I don't believe it, no. And there's many of these pages, right, or posts, where people just write some stupid shit and a lot, tons of people believe it and just go on and say like, that's bad, that's bad. Like WWF, for example, is really damaged because of shit like this, because people told false rumors without any proof years ago. and. Until now, people still think that WWF is actually a bad organization and that they're bad people and kill animals. What the fuck? And then there's the people that actually upload shit in the new and trending tab, which are not bad people. They're, they're cool for checking that new and trending shit out. But sometimes I'm asking myself, what the fuck is wrong with this shit? Reddit users and Reddit itself 
see themselves as a smart platform, they're smart people, right? Which is completely fine because they are a lot smarter than Facebook users and maybe even Twitter users. So Reddit users seem to enjoy like things that have to do with science or just generally shit that blows their mind like they say. So obviously people post to Reddit to get a lot of upvotes and share their shit. Yeah, just show something to the community. How do you get upvotes? Submit quality content that people work their fucking ass off for hours. And I don't necessarily mean my videos, I mean really fucking quality videos. Or do you get more upvotes when you submit a stupid one minute video of a guy showing you a window? Yes, a fucking window. Well, I kind of actually have the feeling that it's completely random what gets popular and what does. I mean, obviously, things that are already popular will get even more popular through Reddit. Let's say Grade A under A posts a video on YouTube, a fan puts it on Reddit, and a lot of other fans upvote that shit. Boom, the video's on front page, more people that didn't know about Grade now see the video, and you know, he just gets even more attention. That's really just a cycle how things work in general. But sometimes, or should I say usually, just like three upvotes on your post will already move your post to the trending tab. And from there, it's only five more upvotes until you're on front page, and then the real upvotes come rolling in. Well, from 1,000 to 5,000, because no one, no one isn't trending or new. Everybody's just hanging around on front page and looking at the front most popular posts, which is a natural thing still, but that's not how it should work. First of all, people could upvote their own shit to get popular, and secondly, why do five people get to decide if a man opening a window should get 1.5 million views or if he shouldn't? And I totally fucking don't have anything against a video that shows the differences between different cultures, different countries, different continents. But why in the fuck can't work and jump quality like shit get upvoted? Rather upvote the 10,000th timelapse of some stars instead of a funny, interesting video or trailer or skit or post or news article. Well, maybe, maybe I just have the wrong taste, right? Maybe I like the wrong shit. And I can just simply ignore all the content, right? But what I just simply cannot ignore is... Witch hunters are people that engage in some kind of stupid, massive internet bullying or hate or something like that. I mean, I just scrolled down on this post on, on, on 9gag and I saw comments like 9gag is like North Korea and shit. And this probably isn't humor. If it is, it's, it's not really funny. But there's a lot of that shit going on where people just say uh, somebody posted about this and said it's bad or ridiculous or stupid or cringy or some shit like that. And then millions of people follow up, go to their page, go to other posts and say, yeah, it's the cancer of YouTube, it's the cancer of the internet, it's so bad. Go fucking kill yourself. And no, that's not supposed to be a direct leafy reference. That's the users that actually post that shit. I mean it. I just... Ah, I don't fucking hear it. And if something deserves a little shitstorm or some hate, I'm not that bothered about it. But when it's just like kids or shit like 9gag that, that can't do anything about their users really, I have no understanding for people that have to witch hunt for some fucking reason. These people on Reddit are the ones that misuse the whole image of Reddit users being all smart and open minded and all that good stuff, which is, by the way, pretty fucking interesting for advertising purposes. Well, what they can say is they go around and say shit like, this isn't a good enough standard for Reddit, this is stupid and just retarded humor, and um, yeah, it's not, it's not right here on Reddit, it's not supposed to be here. Who the fuck do those people think that they are, that they can decide what's funny and what, what gets to stay on Reddit and what doesn't? I mean, if you want to see your star timer, Lapse, good. Go to your s s s slash r slash star time lapse. But what the fuck? And let people upload and enjoy the shit they want. If they don't want to look at his time lapse, then they probably want to look at some comedy skit or some shit like that. And if you don't like it, okay. But don't vote it. But it, it, no, with saying shit like that, you're just working against the whole Reddit image again. No, open minded. You're not necessarily smart for saying shit like that. Just fucking get off your high horse and let people enjoy their own shit, please. Thank you. And again, I, I do think that Reddit is a good is a good site. It has a pretty decent community. It's actually a really good community for a site these days. And I enjoy Reddit at times, right? But it's it's about those few black sheep. Please don't be offended. Please don't don't want or dislike yours. Dislike. Don't want my shit because it's my opinion. Be a Reddit user. Be open minded. Be smart. Follow my arguments. If you have anything against it, dislike or I don't fucking know. Leave it if you dislike though. Or unsubscribe or something like that. 
please be sure to leave a comment, a, a critical comment, what I have done wrong, what I've done to piss you off in the comments, and tell me how I can improve so I actually get something out of it, because the dislike is so, it's like so fucking meaningless, I have no idea, nobody has any idea why the fuck you dislike this shit, and it really doesn't help anybody in this case, right? So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to this channel for more on Monday again. You can watch a video about me ranting about German trains and the company back by clicking this image on the screen or the card up there in the right. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice weekend. Thanks and goodbye.